Hey friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Drea. Today we're going to be doing a bar express workout. So this workout was done live on Zoom for our 21 day reset members in January of 2021. I'm going to be sharing a lot of modifications, especially for those who are pregnant or that just need that um, extra core and um, stability reminders. You won't need any equipment for this except for maybe a mat and a bar or a chair or steady countertop. Have an awesome workout and we'll see you soon. Good? Yes, thumbs up. All right, awesome. Okay, so arms up. We're gonna start off with some knee lifts. Here we go. Find that P. Good. If it's going fast for you, you can always slow it down. Just remember that for anything that you're doing. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Bring both feet down, just squat it out. Nice deep squats. I know we're just warming up here. Do your best, making sure those knees are not buckling in. Think of good form. All right, curtsies, taking this leg, you're gonna bring it back, tap, back, tap. Now we're gonna bring those arms out to the side. With bar, think long, think tall. Good, last one. We're gonna hit the other side. Feet together, other side. Nice and tall. By the end of this workout, I want you to feel super tall too. We're gonna go back to the other side and add a leg lift. Ready, here we go. Down, tap, leg lift, lower. Let's gather flowers and throw them up in the air, right? I don't come up with this stuff on my own. Remember, always in control. Bring that foot down, other side. Down, up, lift, lower, there you go. Balance, challenge here. Good, last one. Feet together, left leg, bring it back. Lunge, lift. Another balance. We're working all ranges of motion here, all planes of motion. Let's do the other side. Foot down, other side. Start to get your heart rate up. Start to get a little breathless. Good. All right, feet together. This side, three pulses at the bottom. And up. Good. Good. Bring that foot down. Other side. Three, two, one. When I say pulse, I mean very small movement here. Lift up. Tall chest. Shoulders away from your ears. Good. Bring that foot down. We're going to go to the floor here. So if you need your mat, quickly roll it out. We're going to walk it out. So, hinging at the hips, coming down, walk it out into a plank, or you can go right to your knees, then we're going to walk back up. Roll it up, and again. Hold it for a second, bring it back up, roll it up. Last one, bring it down. Good. Go into a hover here. So you can start off on your hands and knees. Okay. You can stay here if you want to. If you want a little bit more, go into a hover and we're going to step forward, back. You're going to see this later. Good. If you're on your knees, same thing. Focusing on really engaging that TVA. Good. Almost there. And hold it. Awesome. Forward. Three, two, one, bring it down. Stretch it out a little bit if you need to. Stand on up and shake it out. All right, so next part, we are gonna be doing a second position and a curtsy. If you want your bar for stability, you would put it in front of you, okay? Or you can do this center floor, your choice. All right, I'm gonna do it center floor. So toes are turned out. And we're talking second position, we're talking in ballet terms. 
I'm not a ballerina. I just know some very, very, very basic stuff. All right, so toes turned out. Remember, when you're coming down and you're coming low, you want to see the arches of your feet. Keep those knees back, okay? If you're caving in, el no goodo. Bring those knees back, okay? You want to see the arches of your feet. Tailbone going down and engaging that TVA. So, when your tailbone goes down, pull that TVA in. Nice straight backs. Think tall like there's a string coming up from the top of your head. All right? Bring our arms up. We're going to lower and we're going to lift. Here we go. Lower, lift. Really stretch it out. Good. This is full range of motion. Hold it at the bottom as low as you can. Half lift, half, lower, half, lower. So we're only going halfway up. Starting to get into those deep muscles. You should be able to start feeling it right in those thighs here. Good. Give me four more. Three, two, one. Hold it low. Sink it down. Pulse. I have my hands in prayer. You can put them on your hips if you want, or if you have a bar, put them on your bar. Good. When I say pulse, it's a very small movement. Now, if you are leaning forward, stop it. Come on up. Straighten up that back. Good. Give me four, three, two, hold. Lift and lower, alternate heels. You're holding it low. Remember, you can come up if you need to. That's okay. Try to challenge. All right. Both heels up and lower. Lift, lower. Again, you can hold that bar if you want. That's fine. Lift, lift. Two, one. Lower both heels down. We're going to add a curtsy here. So it's going to be lower, curtsy. Really dig down and twist. Can you feel that quad here? Four, three, two, one. Hold it low. Now, I want you to take your hands, bring them out, pulse out, up. You're facing this way. Four, three, two, one. Good. Bring it over. To the other side, doing the same thing. Down, tap. Really twist. You got this. Ready for that pulse twist? Two, one. Hold it back, hold it, sink it, twist, and pulse. Doing awesome. Ready? Here we go. So if you're doing skaters with plyo, you're going to lift up that back leg, 
reach and twist. Remember you have options. You can do the regular skaters without the jump. You can add the plyo, you can stay low. Lots of options to move your body this morning. You can try touching the ground with or without the foot in the back. Come on guys, you got this. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, get some water real quick. All right, you're gonna grab your bar out for this next one. Your breath, if you're done, especially if you are doing the plyos, your breath is catching up with you now, and now I won't be able to talk. All right, so sidebar, okay? You're gonna start off here with your feet together, hand on your side. We're gonna do some rear lunges. So your outside leg is gonna come to the back, okay? And as you're lowering and lifting, that back knee is going straight up and down. We're not starting yet. I'm giving you a break. I'm telling you what you're doing here. So pretend I'm sidebar. I'm going to side you so you can see. Okay? So I'm coming down. Look how straight my back is. I'm not leaning forward. My back is not arched. I pull in my pelvis. Nice pelvic tilt here. So I get rid of that lower lump or that lower um, spine. I can't even talk right now because I am so, <laughs> my breath is out of it. All right, so we're going to lower and lift here. Ready? Arm out if you choose or on your side. Here we go. And lower, lift, lower, lift. Good. You can have your hand onto your side if you want to. You can bring it out in front. Your choice. Remember that knee is going straight up and down. Looking good, you guys. Good. We're going to slow it down here. Bring it down three counts. Three, two, one. Lift it up. Three, two, one. Lift it up. Nice and tall. Check your form. How's that back leg doing, huh? Good. Keep going. Awesome. Hold it low here. Hold it. Pulse. Here we go. Pulse. Small, small movement. Woo! You got this. Awesome job. Four, three, two, one. Now, we're going to come down to a lunge and then to a lift. So we have some balance work here. Lunge, slow, lift. Lunge, lift, lunge, lift. Hold that lift. Hold it. Lower and lift that back leg. Lower, lift. Keep those hips towards the mat. Good. Lower. Slight bend in this knee. Nice and straight if possible. We're not retching way up high and hurting our backs. Good. Hold it at the top here. Pulse. Pulse. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Hamstring. Hamstring. In and out. Good. That bottom leg might be shaking a little bit. Relax those shoulders. Nice neutral spine. Two, one, and bring it down. Other side. Good. Set up. Lower and lift. Here we go. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Four, three, two, one. Make it slow. Three, two, one, lift up, three, two, one, lift up, 
three, two, one. Lift up, one more. Good, hold it low. Pulse. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Lunge and lift. Here we go. Lunge and lift. Lunge, lift. Good. Focus on that movement. It's all about your muscle, not momentum. Lunge, lift. One more. Lunge, lift and hold here. Lower and lift that back leg. Ready? Here we go. And lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Two, one, hold it here. Hamstrings, good. Hamstring in and out. Keep it going. Two, one, and release. Nice job. Let's do a quick stretch here. Figure four stretch for that booty a little bit. All right, this next song. I'm going to blame our members because I asked them which song they wanted for first position. You can blame them. All right, you're going to face your bar, turn your feet out, lift up your heels, and put your heels back together. Okay? Just so you know, this is going to hurt so good. Roll the shoulders back, making sure you have that nice neutral spine. All right, lower and lift. Here we go. Lower, lift. Make sure those knees are tracking over that second biggest toe. We're going to protect those knees. Good. Lower. Lift. Lower. Look how straight my back is. I'm not leaning forward. Hold it here. Just pulse. 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 Light touch on the bar. No death grips. Very small movement with that pulse. Sink it a little bit more. Good. Doing awesome. Lift it up. Lower and lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Lift. Squeeze that booty at the top. Nice and tall. Looking straight forward. Long necks. All right. Hold it down. Halfway up. Half. Lower. Half. Lower. Half. Keep going. Half. You got this. Sing along with the song, it helps a lot. All right, lift it up, shake it out a little bit. We got some shakes. There you go. Work those obliques, guys. It's not just putting a show on for your hobby that walk, just walked in, right? Work those obliques. I'm gonna space you without the bar. Keep that tailbone down. Good, hold it halfway here. Pulse up, pulse up. Heels are squeezed together. Yes, I know it hurts so good right now. You got this. Nice. All right, slow, slow down. Down, 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 up. Woo! Remember, your range of motion is your range of motion. Down, down. Not mine, it's yours. Woo! Are we ready for some shakes? Let's do it. Get that arm in there if you want it. Work those obliques, guys. Keep that tailbone down. You got this. Woo! You see the love for bar? Oh, yeah. Hold it here, step out, out, in, out, in, out. Good. Ready, other side. You got this. Yeah. Two, one, hold it, sink it. And come on out. All right, you got some time here, we're gonna go to the floor. Grab your water real quick if you need it. So get 
out your mat. We have some more hovers to do. So, lots of options that I'm going to give you. You can be on the floor on your knees the whole time. When we do um, some of the more plyo stuff, you can do bird dogs. This is for those of you who have diastasis or just have a general weak core, okay? Focus on that transverse. You can be here and stepping forward, or you can come up into that hover with those knees off the floor, and you can step forward. Go ahead and begin. Good, hold it here, we're gonna tap the knee. If you're doing this on the floor, you can tap side to side. Just don't be like floppy with the belly, don't be doing this. We want you focused on that transverse. Good, hold it here, and we're gonna bring those legs out into a plank. You can go to your knees, push-ups. Push-up, up, push-up. You can be off your knees as well, your choice. All right, hold it into a plank here, jack it out. If you're on the floor, you can tap to the side, or you can go into a regular bird dog. That's your choice. Good. Two, and one. Awesome. Back to that hover. Step forward. Remember your options here. You can go in between them two. You don't have to just pick one. Try it all if you can. Two, one. Hold it here. Knee tap. Make sure those shoulders are stacked over those wrists. Nice neutral spine. Remember your options here. All right, go into that plank. Push-ups, here we go. Push-up, up. You can also go to a wall or use your chair if you have that. Good, two, one. Go into that plank or that bird dog. Ready? Here we go, jack it out. Keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Go into child's pose real quick. Stretch out those arms, shake them out. Good. Come on up. Going into a push up right away. Your choice, and on or off your knees. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Again, push-ups, if you have diastasis, especially if it's severe, stay in that quadruped bird dog position and really focus on that TVA, okay? Good. Hold, and you're done. Stretch it out here real quick. All right, last but not least, in almost every single bar class, I have bridge work, and this is no exception. Bridge work, we're gonna hit that booty. Arms off to your sides. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Lift up that pelvis, scoop in the, scoop in your hips. So you shouldn't have this nice and flat here. This should actually push, push forward, and your pubic bone is like pointing straight up, or straight out that way. All right, here we go, lower and lift. Lower, lift. You're gonna feel it right away if you're doing these hips right. So maybe take your hands and really twist so you're pulling them up. So your thumbs are on top of your hips. Good, squeeze at the top. Hold it up, pulse, pulse. Small movement. Good, keep going. Feel that booty. Hold it here, arms up, hip dip, hip dip. So just alternate your hips going down. You've got this. All right, bring it up. Lower, lift. You can keep your arms going or you can leave them off to your sides, your choice. Pull down, pull up, pull down, pull up. Check those hips. Good. Lift it, halfway down. Lift, half, lift, half. Squeeze at the top. 
We're coming home, guys. This is the last song. We have a nice long cool down for you. Down, up, half, up, half, up. Hold it at the top. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Yes, you've got this. Come on. You're a rock star. It hurts so good. All right, arms up. Hold it here. Hip dip. Hip, hip, hip. You got this. Come on. Nice. Two, one. Hold it up. I want you to releve, which means heels up, and you're going to bring your toes closer to your bottom. Lower, lift. I just gave you more full, full range of motion. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Hold it up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Coming home. Come on. You got this. Focus on your form. Squeeze that booty at the top. Two. Hold it. Squeeze as hard as you can. Rock solid booty. Come on. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly lower it down. Nice job. All right. Stretch out those legs. Bring those hands all the way up. Really stretch out your whole body here. Deep breaths. Nice job, you guys. Happy new rear. <laughs> awesome. We have, like I said, we have a nice long stretch here, nice long cool down. Take the time and do this with me. All right, bring one knee up towards your chest. Feel that nice stretch in your glute. Good. Take that knee, bring it across your body, and then look the opposite way. You guys did awesome. Let me know what you thought of the bar workout in the group. Let me know if it made you feel strong and tall. Even, you know, it's a little awkward, that's for sure sometimes, but it's become some of our girls' favorite workouts. It's got it all. Good. So I bring that knee up. We'll just hug it for a second here. And then twist your body. Knee up to opposite of your face direction. Listen to the song, Fearless. You guys are amazing. I'm so glad you're here. You can be fearless in anything. And even sometimes a little bit of, seemingly a little bit of a lifestyle change. Bring your knee back and lower it down. Full body stretch again. Even a little bit of a lifestyle change can seem pretty intimidating. But you're fearless. You can do it. You can make this week work. And even if you have to change a few things around, you're going to make it work. Good. You can go ahead and roll to your side and lift on up. Go into your um, tabletop here. Find those shoulders stacked over those wrists. We're going to do some cat cow. Okay? So lift that head, lower that abdomen, nice curve of your back, and then go right in to cats here. And you can kind of just flow on your own here. Whatever feels good. If you feel like you want to kind of twist a little bit, you kind of got to get the kinks out, feel free to do that. Breathe as you're doing this. Good. All right, you're going to curl your toes under and go into downward dog. So really stretching out. And I want you to pedal your feet so that you get a little bit extra of a calf stretch here as we're doing this. Press into your shoulders. Good. 
All right, taking that right leg, or taking that left foot, you're going to bring it to the middle. Your right leg's going to come up, and we're going to go into, I think this is warrior one, right? So warrior one facing, your hips are facing forward here. And then we're going to drop this back leg. Drop it, because I want to really focus on a hip flexor stretch here. So, again, hips stay forward here. Lean forward, stretch out these hip flexors. We are so tight, especially I mean, as moms, as a society, we sit way too much. Our hip flexors get super tight, and our hip flexors are part of our core. It's part of our stability. It's very important. So to stretch these out daily is a great idea. Good. Bring your hands down. Go back up and back into warrior one. Awesome. Bring those hands back down. Go back into a plank and into downward dog. Stretch again. Pedal those feet out. Awesome. Take that leg. Bring it up. Other leg, I should say. And bring it through into warrior one. Reach up. Hold it for a second. And then lower that back leg down. Going into that hip flexor stretch. Lean forward here. Really feel that hip flexor stretch out. Looking good, you guys. You've got this. Your day is ahead of you. You got your workout in. Serious sweating going on. This is amazing. All right, bring your feet down, or your hands down. Bring your foot back into a plank, downward dog again. Pedal out those feet. Push the shoulders down. Good, now walk those feet up to your hands. And then slowly roll up. Roll the shoulders back. Awesome. Bring those feet about shoulder width apart here. One arm across. Good. Bring the other side. Stretch out that chest real quick. Other side. Good. Let's go into a side lunge here. Taking your same arm, same leg. We're going to reach up into that nice side lunge. Feel that those thigh stretch on both sides. Good. All right, bring it down, stretch to the middle, hamstring stretch here. If you need to, you can bring your feet in a little closer. If you need to too, you can just, just wrap your arms around each other, let yourself dangle. You can let your arms dangle. Good, let's go to the other side, side lunge. Arm goes on your thigh here, not on your knee. Bring it up. Good work. Good. Bring it on up here. So if you need to use a wall or your bar, we're going to do a quad stretch. Needed quad stretch. So you want to make sure you're not just kind of being flimsy with this, right? We want to put our knees together and then push our hips out so you really feel, especially the top part of your quad here, getting that nice deep stretch. You don't want to be flimsy with anything. You want to have purpose in your movements. And it's really good to understand why you're moving the way you are. Go ahead. And other side. Awesome. Shake it out. Let's do a figure four stretch. One more here. Stretch out those glutes. Other side. All right. Feet both shoulder width out. Roll back those shoulders. We're going to do a quick stretch here with your shoulders as well. Keep going. Awesome. Open up that chest. Chest stretch is so important to you guys. We do a lot of stuff bent over, especially if you have babies and kids, picking up things, doing everything like this. Open up that chest, do this chest stretch often. Think about your posture throughout the day. It is so important, okay? And even as you're doing this, try not to let your back really come into that lower lumbar spine or lower lumbar curve. Focus on bringing in that TVA, right? Right up here. Don't squeeze your glutes, bring it in, okay? Good. 
Um, let's just shake out those arms, and I think we are all set. Have an awesome day, you guys. You guys are rock stars for getting up this early. You're doing an amazing job. Brittany and I are so proud of you all for being here and doing this 21-day reset. Let us know how you, what you thought, and we look forward to seeing how you guys do the rest of this week. Have an awesome day. See ya.